I love using Inkscape. It's free, it's easy, but sometimes you want to move your text around. So here I've got a text design it says gone fishing. Now this is actual text. So when I click the little text button along the left hand side, I can go in here and I can start typing other letters and I don't want to do that. What I want to do instead is move one of the letters up or down. So I've got this little hook here and what I want to do is move it so that the I in fishing is like this, but it's going to push the H up. So it's like, hmm, how do I do that? So what I want to do is click on the word fishing and you can tell now when you click on underneath the little arrow here, the second arrow, it says edit paths by node, nothing happens. This is just a text image. It's not a vector. There's no nodes in it. So what I'm going to do is click the fishing word and then go up to path and then I'm going to select object to path. And what that does is it actually changes this now into a true vector. When I click on the edit paths by node, we can see now each individual letter is now an actual vector. I'm just going to scroll in here and you can see there's now nodes. So I can delete the I now simply by clicking on it and then I can hover around it and click the delete button and now it's completely gone. Now I'm going to select the hook. So I'm going to select this. Now I'm going to go back to the first arrow, which is the selection tool. I'm going to move this over now and I'm going to move this right up like this. Now I'm going to select the H. So that's inside there right there and I can move this up now as well because it's an individual vector. So I'm going to push this up like this and you can also nudge it with the arrow keys as well. And there you go. So it's really easy to do. Path, object to path makes now this text design into a bunch of individual vectors and you can do anything with them. You can stretch them, you can rotate them, you can make them as weird looking as you want. It's a really neat easy tool. Hope you found that helpful. Quick little Inkscape tip for you. Make sure to check out my other videos about Inkscape as well. Great for beginners and those looking to get really good with graphic design. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your Inkscape journey.